Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode 50 of Let's Play Austrian Arrogance. Converting pretty much the final people. We got one more to convert, it's gonna happen in the next few months. We're about to take back this province for the Palatinate, which should make them like us just the smallest amount more. England has ended their little religious problems. Yeah, the Palatinate is friendly with me. Aggressive Expansion 164. Jesus. I have a spare diplomat. Oh, and we already capped him out. And they want to offer me a royal marriage. You guys are going to be very upset. Because I'm not, I'm not willing to do it. I'm sorry. Okay, so we've just finished that. We'll keep these two armies in position to fight Bohemia because we expect them to... to come back and be problematic. Uh, as soon as we can, we're going to cancel military access here. Pomerania is in the coalition. Let's go to speed four. Oh, can't do it while you have troops inside their borders, naturally. So I'm sorry we can't be allies, but, um, you know, I totally did liberate your province. Totally. Pomerani just insulted me. What are you talking about? I don't have I don't have uh, forces inside your borders. Oh, I do. I'm sorry. Lorraine, give me military access. And we'll get rid of military access again before I forget. Gets us out from underneath being over that limit. Um, let's see. Still don't like any of these options. Spreading our culture seems like a waste, don't you think? So, yeah. So, we have the CB against you because you ate somebody you weren't supposed to. Um, revoke electorate. Oh, I don't want Trier, I want this one. I was like, what? No, 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 no. We want the Imperial Liberation CB, because you annexed an Imperial Authority. You are not in the Coalition. We're totally going to do it. Seems reasonable. Still 9,000 manpower in debt. But it's fine. And I'm going to just position my troops in Bohemia because I expect them to call. Yeah, they did. And as expected, they did not... They did not, um... Call in the rest of the coalition. Maybe we can just run you down. Just want to get rid of this army. Got Leopold here. Crossing penalty, but we've got uh, morale advantage by like crazy. Got a bunch of cannons, and Leopold's just awesome. Now we are getting lots of tiny little guys at war with us, but uh, this is going to be a pretty quick war, I think. Pick up new tech. Ooh, we can go up to level 11 military tech. Not even ahead of time on it. We gain infantry shock, cavalry fire, combat width, a new cannon. And we can finally make the barracks, which I want. So yeah, definitely. We'll pick up the new military cannons soon. Let's see if we can chase his army down a bit more. Naturally, we ended up at war with the Palatinate. <laughs> right after I cleaned out their province for them. Looks like these armies are going to help us out, so we'll go chase it down. Come on. Come on, Bavaria. Get over here. What are you doing? It's not very nice of you. Ah, uh, we'll do this one too. Sure, why not? Toulouse wants access, I'm fine with that. 
Portugal, sure. You gotta be going up to what here? Probably up to there. Disagreeing advisor. That's fine. Prestige for points. We like it. I wonder if, um... If we call you to arms and you don't accept, then that will break off the alliance, which we kind of want. And it gives me a CB to use against them. But... We're going to get that anyway when we attack Poland, so let's not get more people involved if we don't need to. So in this engagement, we've got lots of little guys here. The Palatinate is the right religion, so we don't really need anything from them. Savoy is fine. These guys we can't negotiate with. They're a coalition member. Baden... Can't do anything with either. Bohemia actually took over control of the war, which is not cool. And forcing religion is just not going to happen. Could make them give up Silesia. Oh, Silesia is actually... Uh, already in existence, and they're a little upset with me. Of course they are. Well, we're definitely going to give make them give that up, because I want to weaken them so that I can potentially convert, convert them sooner. So yeah, we want you to release Aachen and return core to Silesia, and might as well. Maybe we'll just do that. Okay. Picked up a new guy. We have the entire cabinet, like, lined up to become <laughs> ours. Kind of funny. War goals to take Aachen, so it's a good thing that we're about to siege it. That should give us the ticking war score that we need to hopefully make Bohemia... Oh, damn it. Tuscany is just converted. Tuscany, why do you cause so many problems? Tuscany. You're this tiny little thing... Enforcing religious unity is going to cost me aggressive expansion again. Or not, not, it's not aggressive expansion, but it's still a flat opinion boost penalty with people. Like, look at this. Where is it? People are supposed to be upset about me enforcing... Maybe it's the, uh, just the other people who are of that religion. They get upset about it. Enforced religious unity, yeah. Okay. So if you nip it in the bud, then you're fine. But if you let a whole bunch of them convert, then each time you convert somebody back, it pisses everyone off. What is this? Lollard heretics. Oh, we don't want that. Okay, yeah, you just took Aachen. Let's go kill the heretics. We don't want any of that Lollard garbage. It's a lot of micro to manage that many potential cardinals. Kind of annoying, but... Okay, so Bohemia, you're already down to low. Demands exceed war score, though, so we're going to need to get up to, like, 60. A couple more occupations. What is this? Silesian Patriots. That's fine. We're about to give that land back to them anyway. So, yep, yeah, we just siege a bit. They're already down to low 
war enthusiasm makes them much more likely to agree. They just want to concede defeat. We, uh, they are negotiating for the entire alliance, so they're trying to just get a full concession of defeat. And that's not what we want. If they were trying to bow out and like no longer be the commander, then I might do it. And we're back. There's a little crash, not sure why. Wasn't uh, blue screen of death, but uh, perhaps decided to turn off. So that's fun. I'll have to edit it back. And you know how I feel about editing. Oh well. Sometimes it just has to happen. Select army, create new units. Let's give a couple more troops over there. And Thuringia has converted. Hmm. Come on back. New idea. Very nice. And we only have one more idea to go. Tolerance of heretics goes up, better relations over time, plus we get reinforced speed. And then we can maybe cool our jets for a bit on the uh, on the ideas thing. really annoying having to compete with every single one of them. There's always somebody trying to steal a cardinal. 45% war score? Is that going to be enough? And actually, uh, let's just see if we do have any individual... Yeah, we have individual war score against Cologne, but we can't do a separate piece. Because they are the target of the war. But we're getting close. Negative 59 reasons now. The demands barely exceed the war score. Negative 24. One more occupation. One more successful siege, I think. Although they're about to take that province, but... I'm pretty sure ours are going to be worth more. Relative strength of the alliance is like way, way on our side. They only have infantry. And the Silesian Patriots just, uh, Schlesian Patriots just took them. Hey now, leave this, leave them alone. Come on, tick. There we go. 56% might be able to do it. Yes, it is. All of a sudden, 51 reasons. <laughs> Just like that. So yes, uh, you will release Aachen. You will... Oh, actually, that's why. It's because I can't, I can't force this away now. Because it's occupied. Darn! Well, if that's the case, maybe we... Uh... Why don't we go blow up that army real quick and see if that makes a difference. Pretty sure the occupation should go away, right? If we kill the last army. I actually have to occupy it back. Darn. Well, I suppose we should throw some cannons at it then. Okay, so we'll take that back. I mean, I, I need to make that happen. 
This crossing penalty is not good. I'm still gonna win, but taking way more losses than I'd ever, ever prefer to see. Poor iron. Let's, um... We don't even have any siege timers there. Just flip them. These are Catholic Zealots. Oh, shoot! Catholic Zealots! Interesting. I don't want to fight the Catholic Zealots. Darn it! I'm supporting Catholic Zealots in Bohemia. I think I'm still doing that. No, I'm not. Apparently we stopped at some point. Silly game. Why would they res why would they spawn up right now? It's just... It's crazy. You have some siege score. As do you. So we'll take your cannons, and we just gotta quickly take this thing back. Uh, we'll lose the prestige, it's fine. Come on, Jork! Get that land back so we can get what we want out of this. Come on, 14% chance, damn. Pretty quick siege time, I guess. Well, 30 days, that's actually like full siege duration. Okay, so we took it back, now we can get what we want. Which is for you to give us Aachen, you're gonna return court to Silesia, you're gonna revoke your course, because why not? It stops wars from happening. And uh, force religion is available as an option, but it's nothing I can enforce. That seems about really the best that I can do. Again, no aggressive expansion does cost me diplomatic power, but I don't care. It weakens them slightly. Aachen's back. We're up to 52 points. Aachen's not actually the right religion, apparently. They are reformed. So... Let's see, though. Can we actually enact the reform? No, not enough people are reformed. Well, in that case, I think we do enforce religious unity. Get our troops back to where they belong. Bohemia, I do think I want to support rebels again. Maybe that's what caused it. Maybe we got caught supporting rebels and that helped cause all kinds of problems. Baden. Naturally. Not willing to accept. Just because of their negative opinion. Okay. Well, what if we send you some money? Does that, does that change anything? Does it get you a little closer? Negative seven reasons now. How about we uh, bestow Imperial Grace? And actually, I have six free diplomats, so I should be spreading them all out on the on the people. Okay, Baden Bavaria, Bohemia, naturally they hate me. They're going to continue to hate me, nothing I can do about that. That'll have to do for now. So, we're going to play for just a moment longer. Cologne's ended their religious turmoil. Okay, sounds fine. 
Where did Baden go? Still not willing to accept. We will bestow Imperial Grace on these guys. Because now they will accept. So, the very next opportunity, we're going to send that diplomat again to enforce religious unity. It's going to piss off the other Protestants. That seems fine. And we only have 20 for it. So we need to wait a little bit for, you know, people to not be so pissed off at me. And then we'll be able to do it. So, okay, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you again soon.